right guys, we're up at the cabin. Probably going to be one of the last trips of the year. We're usually not up here this late in the fall, going into winter here soon. It's uh, going to be quite chilly and we don't have a wood stove in here. So I picked up one of these diesel heaters. Instead of running the generator all night with uh, the electric heaters that are very inefficient, don't work that great at all. I picked up one of these Amazon Chinese diesel heaters. Been seeing them around the last couple years and they look promising. So $150 Canadian, I picked this one up for. And we're just gonna do a quick uh, unboxing here, showing you what was included. Then I'm gonna get installed. I'm gonna tear some siding off uh, the cabin here. And this is a little small cabin, the 12 by 16 with a loft. So this should heat it up nicely. At least I hope so. So we got our uh, little heating hose here. Manual, we won't be really looking at that. There's the diesel heater. Now, the reviews on this one, guys, weren't the greatest, but I took a good look at it. I think it's going to be just fine. Mostly uh, the manual, the translation from Chinese to English was quite bad. And I took a quick uh, look through it. Yeah, the manual does suck, but I think I've watched enough videos on this now that I can uh, sort this out quite easily. So, what's all included? Well, air intake. It's not not a filter it's more so for distributing and equalizing the pressure as the air is being brought in at least so what i've uh, read or watched online power cable that's going to be our exhaust tube right there it does come with a little muffler with some brackets as well we've got this little uh, exhaust port or heat port i should say and that just to the hose i actually won't be using that i went and picked up some other parts to make this a little bit more uh user friendly the way I want it to be. We're going to actually, uh, here I'll show you. We're going to be cutting out the siding. I made up this little uh, four inch adapter here. It is a three inch line that you get here. So I've got a three to four kind of coupler I made here that's going to fit onto the hose. And then that's going to plug in to the outside. I'm going to kind of show you here. That'll be going on the side. I'll be cutting it around because it's one of these uh, boxes that kind of fit over like that, right? With a little I guess there's like a little exhaust vent for a dryer here is what I have. And then once we're all done, so the critters don't get in, I picked up this cap that will put a couple holes in it and just kind of close it up like that so none of the bugs or critters get in when I'm not Inside, here. I've got this little like diffuser. Again, you can open it up and then close it up. So obviously when we're using it, we'll go wide open and the heat should come out of there just fine. And then as well, to connect it all together, got a four inch uh, piece of uh, of uh, pipe here. I guess what you call it, HVAC pipe or ventilation pipe. So Amazon Chinese diesel heater, guys. There's the front, there's where your heat's coming out. It does come with a little uh, little remote here, on off, and then a plus and a minus uh, button. It'll probably turn the heat up and down. That is cool, we'll just take that off of there there's your little uh, digital uh, display right there knob all your controls that's where your diesel goes in your fuel tank on the top there on the back side you, you can see these two handles here for lifting it on the back side there's your power input positive negative we've got a cooling fan it looks like on the back side pop it open here Take this right off, I believe. Cover comes right off. Now, yeah, nothing's really screwed down on the inside. There's a fuel tank, that little shelf that's just sitting in there, but when we got that cover on, it seems to work out just fine. So you can see the tank, a little heat exchanger, I guess, down here. If we got a, what I would assume to be a fuel filter right there. So, yeah, not much to it. Looks like we got a fuse here. Get that open. Make sure there's a fuse in there. Yeah, it's got a little uh, 20 amp uh, car fuse in there. All right, so we got to get this diesel heater installed here. We got a couple hours of daylight left, so I'm going to pull the siding. We're going to get a hole drilled through into the cabin, get everything mounted, and then we'll fire up the diesel heater and we'll make sure it's running. 
and we'll see uh, see how that goes. I'm hoping this thing's gonna work good because it's gonna be about minus five degrees Celsius overnight here tonight. So it's gonna be a little chilly. We don't have any other source of heat here. I actually, well, unless I run the generator all night, which I don't want to. So we'll get this going and we'll see how it goes. $150 Amazon Chinese diesel heater. Okay, we got the heater inlet done, installed. We'll look at that a little closer once we get it all hooked up. But now we've got to get the heater prepped to uh, get this thing fired up. So, first thing I'm going to do is take the positive and negative wires. And we're just going to put them in down here. Obviously black is your negative. And then we've got positive with a red wire. And then I've got a 12 volt uh, car battery, this right here that we'll be uh, hooking it up to. Okay, so that's somewhat prepped. Now on the underside here, we've got our exhaust and we've got our air intake. So we've got to get those in, the air intake and the exhaust clamped on. Just had to take off the cover and access through here. I've got the exhaust running out the back side here. Air intake's gonna run out the front here, just in between the cinder blocks. And then we're going to have to get this hooked up. So first thing I'm going to do now is we're going to get the cover back on. We're going to fill it up with some diesel. We'll get this hose hooked up here and then we're going to uh, fire this up and hopefully we've got some heat. So we're going to get this hooked up four inch on that end, three inch on that end. I did have to cut it because it was still a little too big, but get it in there. Clamp it up and we should be good. I've got my port installed here. Now we're going to hook up the heater hose to both ends. Just going to get the clamps over top here. that up and we should be good to go. All right, so looks like it takes five liters. This was full, filled this pretty much right up. Okay, let's hook up the battery now. Alright, so we've got fuel, we've got power, we should be able to fire this up now. So I did have a quick look at the user manual, it's not very helpful. So we'll see how this goes. And I'm also told that the display screen here is going to be somewhat in Chinese, or all in Chinese, yet the remote that comes with it is in English. Okay, so the display is powered up here. I'm not, okay, there's the on button when we push that in. Okay, it's showing eight degrees Celsius. I guess that's out here. I think there is a bit of a, a startup procedure that this is gonna go through. There's a button here that says pump. I'm not sure what that means. We're just going to leave it alone. This dial, I'm assuming it's to turn up the heat and down the heat, but... I would assume but it says H here, H6. All 
All right, so I don't know what's going on there. If I'm not mistaken, there is a startup procedure for what I've seen online. So it's gonna let it do its thing. The fan hasn't kicked in yet. There is a button with pump here. Oh, it's doing something, it's trying to light. Or it's pumping. So we'll let it do its thing here. And I'm told the draw on these when it's trying to light up is going to be uh, quite a bit more than when it's running. Once it's running, it's supposed to use very little power. All right, we got the diesel heater up and running, guys. Now, I'm still not sure what all the controls are for here. It's partially in Chinese. It is reading the temperature right now at least at 160 degrees Celsius. And then it also has 11 degrees Celsius in upper left-hand corner. Not really sure, hopefully I'll figure that out, but hey, it's blowing, it's blowing strong, it's blowing nice hot air into the cabin. We've got our battery fully charged there. Now, I am glad I put this uh, exhaust through the cinder blocks here, because that exhaust is so hot, I wanted to get it up off of the, the deck here, so that worked out well. So it's not uh, touching anything that's uh, flammable. Right there, guys, that diffuser, it's where we got the hot air coming through and it's blowing nice it's actually warming up quite nicely in here so this will be great because it's right now outside it's one degree above uh, freezing right now so it's probably going to get to minus five minus six around there tonight so we should be nice and cozy in here and uh, have no issues so we'll see hope this thing will stay running throughout the night with no issues and we'll uh, come back in the morning and let you know how it went all right guys you can see it pretty cold out here today ground is frozen and the heater is not running now it's plenty warm in the cabin but at about uh, 4 30 this morning which was about 12 and a half hours after initially turning it on it turned off and you can see we still have diesel in there but see and well, let's see if we can see there there's a sensor right there in the left hand corner and that sensor is exposed, which is why the diesel heater turned off. So we ran through about, looks to be about four and a half liters or so, maybe a little bit less of diesel and kept it nice and toasty in there last night. So I'm going to get some more diesel. We'll fire it back up and I'm sure it's going to be just fine. Eventually you'll figure out what all these controls are for. Sounds like it's fired up now. Starting to feel some heat on the exhaust. That's good. There we go. Sounds like it's going good now. Seems like it's working fine. Still not 100% sure on the startup process on this one. I've seen no videos with this display here. So we're kind of just winging it until it starts and it's working, which is great. It says, I don't know what that H stands for. We can turn it right down and see if that. Okay, so I can hear, it sounds like the fuel pump is going quicker. We turn it down. It's definitely slowed down.
Yeah, so I'm guessing during startup, you're gonna have to have that H turned up, because it started up when I had it turned up. Once it's going, probably turn it down and it'll save you some fuel. It's decently warm inside still, so we haven't uh, we haven't really needed the heat. It's starting to cool off a bit, but it was nice and toasty in there all night. Still is, and we haven't had this uh, running for oh gee, just over five hours now. There's been no heat in there, and still warm enough from the heat that uh, this produced overnight. Turn the ambient temperature down. I had it on 40 when we first started it up yesterday. So we'll, we'll keep it at 20 degrees Celsius right now. I'll just let it do its thing. Now, this little icon up in there, it's hard to see. Let's get a little closer here. Give you guys a look at the display here. It's not the greatest display. push it got a nice backlight though but you got Chinese characters on one side Chinese characters here looks to be a fuel pump fan I don't believe it's uh, reading the temperature I believe it's the outdoor temperature it's reading at five degrees Celsius right now but it's uh, it's off by quite a bit and then the ambient uh, temperature we have set at 19 we're gonna turn it up to 20 Unit's putting out 148 degrees Celsius right now. Got 11 volts. So you got to long press the pump to get to the H. I think that is just uh, turn it up again. definitely gets faster and slows down once we turn it down there so I'll sort it out guys I'm just happy it's working we've got it kind of sorted out here we're blowing heat now we had a good uh, good night warm night last night which was good I'm still sorting this out here don't necessarily understand 100% how this uh, control panel works but we're, we're sorting it out I'm sure I'll get this all sorted out 100% here at some point I did Google Translate the Chinese characters what that all means I'll throw that up on the screen again it helps but it's not 100% uh, straightforward but is what it is guys we're staying warm we got it fired up it seems to be working good $150 Canadian for this unit no complaints with the way it's working only complaints I have is instruction manual sucks even on the Amazon listing they have a PDF instruction manual it's for a crock pot not even for one of these heaters and just not having the display in English doesn't really help. But hey, we've got it sorted. It's blowing heat. I'm happy with it. We're able to stay warm here in the cabin now during the, the cold months. And that alone, well worth the $150 I paid for it. So we're going to leave it at that for now, guys. If you like this video, make sure you big thumbs up. If you want to get some more info on this diesel heater or even grab one for yourself, I've got links down below in the description. Check it out there. And we'll see you on the next one. See ya.